we are going to build a small project for at least in vanilla javascript so let's get started i have opened my terminal so let me make a directory for address book let me cd to it then i will create only index.html and main.css not style.css because we are going to use materialize in this project so we don't need any uh, styles or something from an external library external css file we used from materialize only so i will i'm starting it with vs code so let me close it let me bring it here so i have only these two so now i will put the basic address book then after that i will uh, have a div of container container and inside this uh, h1 will be there of center align it will be called address book and here i will okay oh, i don't want this thing i want the script tag only remain dot js which i have just created and actually for the rest of the project means the address book what i am going to do i am going to copy paste it because it will be a, a lot of html for the whole address book i am going to create the whole address book and you can take it from the end of the github project so let me copy paste it i will explain to you quickly what it is so nothing just a input box is there uh, and after that i have a an ordered list which is having the class of collection and with that see many of the things here are materialized oh i forgot to import materialize so let me import that also so i'm importing materialize so you can get it from this cdn network so after that what is there uh, unordered list is there classes collection and uh, with header this with with header is a materialized thing this no this collection is a materialized thing then this collection header collection item and all these things they are all materialized things and so i have an ordered list and i have list items and list item is uh, something like that there is a header which is containing this a and then after that all the things with a then there is a header for b so like that i have done till z or z okay so let me save it and uh, let me open it through the live server so see we will get it like this but let me open it with uh, brave so this is the search bar so we will start with the logic now so first we will select document dot query not query document dot uh, get element by id not tag i don't know why this tag names comes every time got document dot get element by id filter input filter input uh, let me check again if the filter yeah this one we are selecting input filter input and then we are adding an event listener add event list now and we will be hitting the key up so what is the key up even whenever we type something our keys get up so whenever we type something there is a key up, key up event which will occur so inside the anonymous function let we creating another variable let filter value 
equal to again it will be having the same thing document dot get element by id filter input but this time it will be value whatever value is there and we are going to change it to two uppercase because it is better to change it to two uppercase so that the user can type in any language and we don't we will not have much issues while uh, doing we are going soon going to add a filter logic so we will not going to have an issue with that and two uppercase so let me console dot log it console dot log filter value so let me it will help me to understand it everything is okay till this point so that it is coming inside and whatever we type it is there so let me inspect then console we get elements by id i don't know what is elements by id because this is element by id so let so we we got a big thing there so let me type a yeah it is coming d and see i am typing it small and it is coming as big because of this two uppercase okay so it is working properly let me delete it now what we are going to do we are going to get all the allies in this page which contains everything here yeah, this allies contains everything so we are going to get that so first let me do let unordered list equal to document dot get element by id and names we are going to get, do this names so what is this names names is this this so unordered list from this only we are going to get the ally and one thing i want to tell that we don't want this collection header collection header contains this big a we want this collection items only so how to get that so we can get that by a query selector so query selector returns and um, i think a node list or an html element which is just like an array so let li equal to unordered list dot query selector all so we are going to give the query selector all and then li dot collection item so this is that which i have just shown get element by id yeah so let me do a console dot log of li so let me again inspect console and let me type again so a yeah we are getting all this all the li, li we are getting so it is perfect so now we are what we are going to do we are going to li is an as i have told it's an array type of object so we are going to use for each to loop through it for each item so anything item can be anything even give anything so see one thing inside each ally there is an anchor tag so we want this we want this name so which is inside the anchor tag so for that let a equal to item dot get element by elements by tag name so this tag name is there a and we will have the first item this zero is required so console dot log let me show if it is coming correctly what we are getting here so okay let me open the console let me type yeah so the one thing is that the filtering logic is not there so whatever i type i will get everything 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 from a to y i have till y because i couldn't find much name by z or z so i i am getting everything so everything in my all of these things i got so it's okay so just now only one thing is remaining and that is we have to add the filtering logic and the filtering logic will be very easy actually what uh, we have whatever is been passed here this filter value is there 
we have to use the filtering logic through this that only those are being shown and everything else we will hide it so how we are doing it we are i'm going to use a shortcut thing means a ternary operated thing so item dot no more so let me do this first a dot in a html so dot as we have seen that we got that anchor text dot two again we are going to do it to two upper case dot starts with we are going to use an array uh, method not array this uh, yeah string method and what we are going to find we are find, going to find its filter value means if whatever is this this will be a string a dot inner html dot two upper value so uh, it will be something like this some some suppose it is web up is there and it starts with filter values uh, suppose i type v or anything so it starts with returns a true or false so if it is there it will return a true okay so what i'm going to do i'm going to use a ternary operator if it is true make it a block and if it is not true then make it a none so if it if this matches it will show it or else it will not show it but what we are going to do we are going to make item dot style dot i don't want this i don't know why it gets style dot So what we are going, we are giving, we are just giving a display property. So you have a display property, display equal to block, display equal to none. So this is that item dot style dot display equal to block or display equal to none. Hope everything is right and our project will complete if everything is right. So let me search A, C. Everything else is gone. A, A is coming. So let me type like B. So A, B is coming. Let me type D. A, B, D, M, D, L, S, T, F. So this completes our project, but there is a small thing which I want you to do is to enhance this project so that if I type something like A, B, D, so this B, C, D, all these things, they are not coming. This is a small task which you can do, which will be very easy to do. So hope you will do it. Thank you for see, watching this project. See you soon in the another cool, exciting JavaScript.